Ah, never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. Welcome art lovers to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we're taking on a challenge like no other as we attempt to create a work of art featuring none other than the Joker, as played by the legendary Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. Now, we've done plenty of art styles, concepts, and mediums before, but today's project is special. We'll be using acrylic paint on crumpled paper. Yes, you heard that right. And you might be wondering why would anyone do that? Well, my friend as an artist, I always strive to explore new avenues and create unique art pieces. Plus, I'm always curious about new techniques and mediums that I can experiment with. And that's precisely why I chose to use acrylic on crumpled paper today. It's unusual, and it piques my interest, and hey, I haven't seen anyone else do it yet. So, let's get into it. Do you think this is going to work out? Can we pull off an amazing Joker painting using acrylic on crumpled paper? Well, you'll have to stay tuned and find out. As I work on this project, I'll be sharing my observations with you. What do I notice while painting on crumpled paper? And most importantly, will I be using this technique in future videos? Trust me, you don't want to miss any of this. First, we need to break down the chaotic mastermind behind Heath Ledger's iconic performance. In this video, we'll delve into the psyche of the Joker and how Heath Ledger's portrayal of the character has become a cultural phenomenon. The notorious villain from DC Comics and the iconic character played by Heath Ledger in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. The Joker's persona is known as a psychopathic, mass-murdering, schizophrenic clown with zero empathy. He embodies themes of chaos, anarchy, and obsession, expressing a desire to upset Gotham's social order through crime and his conflict with Batman. Joker has become a symbol for those who feel isolated and angry at society. Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight is widely regarded as one of the greatest performances in film history. Ledger brought his own unique spin on the character, drawing inspiration from Francis Bacon's paintings, Anthony Burgess' A Clockwork Orange, Stanley Kubrick's film adaptation of the same name, and various punk rock musicians. The Joker and Heath Ledger's iconic portrayal of the character will continue to captivate audiences for years to come. His legacy as one of the most memorable villains in film and popular culture is a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of complex characters. We'll delve into the technical aspects of Ledger's transformation into the Joker. I am summarizing the colors that I used in this Joker concept without explaining in full detail. Makeup artist John Caglione Jr. used a unique technique makeup application, and how Ledger's facial expressions contributed to the imperfections in the makeup. I'm laying down a red and blue background to match the Joker's dark and twisted personality. Then I'm using a white base paint on the Joker's face to create facial textures. And of course, we can't forget the Joker's signature hair. A black base with highlights of light blue and yellow green, come together to create the perfect blend. On the Joker's eyes I'm using a darker shade of grey to add depth and create that hollow look that Heath Ledger's Joker was known for. And to the mouth, a mix of rich maroon color using red and a bit black paint to fill in the basic shape of the lips. Ledger had to lick his makeup and lips as part of the Joker's manic personality, as well as his most unique mannerism. As I work, I'm noticing that painting on crumpled paper takes a few more strokes than I'm used to. The untidy creases and folds on the paper's surface make it a bit challenging to cover, but don't worry. Acrylic paint can be layered multiple times, so we can cover any unwanted mistakes easily. So, what's my final verdict? Did using acrylic on crumpled paper work out? Will I be using this technique in future videos? Absolutely! I'm thrilled with the result and excited to explore new possibilities using this technique in upcoming videos. And there you have it, a painting of the Joker that I'm incredibly proud of. Thank you for tuning in and watching me take on this unique challenge. I hope you've learned something new and enjoyed watching me create something special. Until next time, happy painting!